in the part 1 lecture we people have discussed what are the static class members as i have explained there are two types of static class members one is static class variables and another static class functions as i have explained in the previous uh, video lecture as far as a static class variable is concerned irrespective of number of objects there is only one single copy of value right as well as static class functions are concerned they can access only and only static class variables they cannot access instance variables now i am going to supplement uh this uh, particular topic with an example in c++ that will demonstrate how we people declare static class variables and how we people use static class functions now see this is an example of a class called sales now in this class we people have got three instance variables namely sno that is for salesman code smt that is for sales amount com stands for commission apart from these three instance variables i have declared a static class variable called tot com now see the objective of taking this tot com variable is static class variable is to accumulate the commissions earned by all these sales persons be it uh, any n number of sales persons and we will be displaying the total commission and average commission by using a static class function now view this carefully apart from this uh, declaration of instance variables and static class variable we have declared we have defined two class functions one is rd another is avg com you can clearly see as far as rd function is concerned it is a normal function normal member function and by default a normal member function of a class happens to be a non static function now avg com i have uh, decided to take this function avg com as the static one so that is why uh, its name is being preceded with the keyword static now we come to this point uh see carefully the highlighted part now this statement is aimed at initializing the value of the static class variable tot com now it is up to your requirement with what value you want to initialize your static class variable in this case my requirement was to get it initialized with the value 0 now see the syntax carefully how do we initialize the values of a static class variable first we are supposed to mention the data type of this static class variable followed by the name of the class then scope resolution operator then name of the static class variable as you know in this case it happens to be tot com assignment operator and whatever value you want to initialize it with in this case it happens to be 0.0 now see guys in the function main what i have done is i have declared three objects of the class sales namely sr1 sr2 and sr3 and in order to supply them uh, values i have called the function rd like in the first case sr1.rd current object is sr1 then sr2.rd current object is sr2 then 
sr3.rd current object is sr3 so let us assume the values uh, the, those were supplied to these uh, objects they happen to be like this like whatever was sales uh, my number sales amount i have assumed that commission in the first case was 2000 for the second object that was 3000 for the third object that was 4000 now we will examine the function rd when the control went into the rd function user was asked to input the values of sno smt and com so far so good but what is this highlighted statement doing now see the initial value of dot com that was zero i have used plus is equal to compound assignment operator in order to accumulate the values of commission into this uh, static class variable now again see i have assumed that the, for the first object when the function rd would be called like sr1.rd assumed the value of commission is 2000 so as per this statement dot com plus is equal to com the value of dot com will that will come out to be 2000 right because 0 plus 2000 is equal to 2000 in the next call as that is sr2.rd now this time over i have assumed that value of commission happens to be 3000 now guys you know that uh, totcom static uh, class variable is being shared by all the objects and it is having only one single copy in the memory it, it's not going to have separate copies for separate objects so what was the previous value of totcom that was 5000 right now I have assumed that uh, commission for the second object that is SR2 that happened to be 3000. So dot com plus is equal to com will yield 5000. In the next object that is SR3, I have assumed the value that was inputted by the user that was 4000. So again, the statement dot com plus is equal to com that will make the value of dot com 9000. See it carefully. Initial value was 0, then dot com value that reached 2000, 5000, 9000. Right now, my intention is to display the total commission along with average commission, and for this purpose, I have written this static class function called avgcom. And guys, see carefully how. I am invoking the static class function of the class sales. Again, we are using scope resolution operator. See, first I am supposed to give the name of the class. In this case, it happens to be sales, followed by scope resolution operator, and finally the function call. AVGCOM static function is being called. The control will go to the avgcom static function whereby we are printing the value of totcom that is total commission and uh, uh, later we are getting the value of uh, average commission printed on the screen. So guys as you know uh, as I have told you in the part 1 lecture uh, titled uh, static class uh, members I have explained to you that static class functions a static class function can access only static class variables so you can see here i have used only totcom if i make an effort to use instance variables of this program of this class like say sno smt and com that will result into error it is going to be erroneous because we cannot access instance variables in the static class function Whereas, guys, you can clearly see a non-static function is able to access both instance variables as well as static class variables. You can see here sno-smt-com in the function rd, which happens to be non-static function. We are accessing sno-smt-com, which are instance variables. And at the same time, we are using static class variable.com. 
right so uh, i have tried my best to explain to you the concept of static class members in c++ thank you